I'm really liking the game. I think it's going to be a very popular game. Right now, obviously, it's completely dead. Not a lot of people are actually looking for it, as you can see here, compared to all the other uh, Bandai games. Union Arena is in the bottom. Here's the this is one piece card games, the red, Fusion Worlds in the green. As you can see, Digimon card games completely dead, kind of. It's dying out. I can't find anybody looking for it. And but it makes sense. Bandai, what Bandai likes to do is release new games because they are, get so much more popular. But One Piece is special because it's continuing to stay popular no matter what. Uh, I also want to sh but here's the the thing here. Battle Spirits is actually winning over Union Arenas in Search, which is insane because Battle Spirits is probably the the game that Bandai is gonna release next. But uh, and they're gonna get rid of next. But uh, yeah, Union Arena starting to get catch some track. I think once the release comes a little bit closer, we're probably gonna jump above Digimon and uh, f uh, Battle Spirits 100%. I don't know if we're gonna be more popular than Fusion World. But slowly the game is gaining uh, traction, I believe. I think we're going to be able to be at least top three of the Bandai games. Uh, easily, easily top three of the Bandai games. Because, yeah, I believe so. And then I was looking at the events. I was like, okay, let's take this game seriously. Let's actually get into the game. Let's see how many events are going to be happening in the game. Uh, let's see how, uh, what, what set am, am I going to be playing, what tournament in. And somehow I'm treated into this map right here. I'll show you the map really quickly. Some of the scariest things I've ever seen in my life are hidden in this map. So let's discuss a little bit about my thoughts on this map. So, okay. So the first thing you see here clearly is there's literally a release, a new set released. Now, maybe it's not a full set, okay? Maybe it's not a full set, but it's going to be an actual product being released. Either a booster box, either a special booster box, either just a, 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 a deck, like a pre-made pre, pre deck. I don't know what it is, but there's going to be a product being released once every single month. Now, automatically, that creates a big issue. For example, Lorcana releases a product every three to four months and they're having a great time they're having a great time uh one piece releases a product i think every two to three months and uh it's a little bit tough to keep uh, track of that let alone a product every single month i wonder how much this game is going to change i wonder of course every time they bring the product out their power creep is going to increase so I'm just really disheartened to see like 12 products in one year. What the hell is happening? <laughs> the game is going to change a lot. Now the next thing I want to mention here is after every time they bring a product out, they're going to do a pre-release event. So that, there, there's going to be a lot of events, guys, for this game. It's going to be intense. So there's going to be every month a store tournament. Every month a pre-release. Every month a new set coming out, a pre-release tournament. Every set a new, uh, every month a new set coming out, and then after three sets you get to do a big special tournament. I think this is regionals, but I'm not sure because what they're saying here, special tournaments take place at local game stores once every three months. I don't know if this is the same store that's running the store tournaments, or these are like select stores that run regional tournaments. You know what I mean? That, but this is also disheartening because I'll, 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 now obviously it's not that disheartening if you are extremely competitive and want to do a lot of competition. But if you're a little bit busy and wanted to do maybe one tournament every two to three months or one tournament a month, you know, it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to catch up in my opinion because there's just going to be so much happening. Of course, for the competitive PR players, they're going to be so happy every week almost or every two weeks you're going to have something that's uh, you're fighting for on an immense level, either a pre-release, either the store tournaments finals, either the special event that's coming out, uh, or maybe, I don't know if there's even going to be more, uh, and, and w let, let alone the online tournaments and all that's happening all the time. So this game is going to be extremely competitive in my opinion. I, looking at the way they're releasing the schedule, looking at the way the tournaments are being set, Looking at the way that they're going to do a pre-release for every title, I feel like they're going to try to market this as an extremely competitive game. 
and it's going to be competitive. It's going to be extremely hard to be good at this game, guys, because every month you feel like you're strong, your deck is amazing, a new set comes out, and you have to deal with that set. You have to relearn everything. You have to introduce the power creep that just got introduced to your deck. Maybe even switch out your whole deck completely. So it's going to be an extremely difficult game to become good at, is what I'm trying to tell you, which I believe means it's going to be the, be the most competitive game Bandai has. Now, I think they tried to market Battle Spirits to be the most competitive game Bandai is running right now. But in my opinion, it's One Piece. Uh, no, it's it's going to be Union Arena. Then it's going to be One Piece. And then uh, probably Digimon and then Fusion World. The least competitive, in my opinion. Uh, now, I could be wrong, guys. This is just a preliminary analysis. There's not a lot of information coming out, but... But the but the thing um the reason I think these special events are going to be regionals is because there's going to be pr amazing prices that are not in the other event. That's what regionals do. But also I'm concerned the wording about the special to tournaments take place at local game store. Now this could be just like a regionals big local like what they mean is like a convention center, or they could mean the same local stores that are running store tournaments, which means that there's going to be more regionals introduced. So there's going to be even more competition than just this map right here now i could be wrong uh this is all very new the game hasn't even released yet so this is all speculation but uh yeah i'm interested in your opinions guys i think this is going to be an extremely competitive game i think it's going to be extremely hard to be good at this game with how many releases it's going to see you're going to see code Geass. you're going to see my hero academia somewhere around april probably you're going to see um Probably some enemies you've never heard of before. Like there's the soccer enemy that's going to show up. The blue, something blue. And uh, it's just going to be exciting. It's actually going to be a lot of fun to see. But it's going to be a little bit hard to keep up with. So I'm interested. I'm interested in your opinions, guys. What do you think? Do you think this is going to be the most competitive game that Bandai released to date? Are you going to be able to keep up with all these releases? Are you going to be able to be in every single pre-release uh, tournament? Are you going to be able to compete in these regionals and or uh, in these re uh, if it's a regional and a special event are you going to be able to compete in both or are you just going to have to pick one of those two i'm um, just interested in your opinions guys uh, leave the comment down below let me know what you think about uh, the game in general and uh, yeah this is something i've never seen before i've never seen 12 releases in one year i've never in my life seen anything like this I've never seen four, uh, you know, four finals, four store finals, and every single final has like basically three more sets released for store tournaments, which is insane. In the same year, <laughs> it's absolutely insane. Usually, store tournaments, what happens is they release one set, and then you get a whole like three months of the store tournaments on that one set, and then you get the next set after the regionals, and then you you go another three months on those that same set. But this is insane. This is while you're doing your store tournaments, new sets are coming out. So you, the store tournaments are just changing in power levels and changing in deck building. And then when you come to the final, the 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 the, the, the same. Even though this is the same store tournament, the same volume one store, but your deck is so different than what you started with. Let alone when you jump into volume two and volume three. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the power creep level is gonna look. Uh, interested in your opinions guys leave a comment down below and let's let's talk about this